Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be something a bit different. We're going to do a how-to. I'm going to show you how I turned a regular old sprue that we get in all of our kits into a scrap load. I was talking with my wife about how I wanted to make some loads for all my gondolas as I have 12 off to the side here and that's just for Ontario, Ontario Northland. So I'm trying to figure out how I was going to do it and not spend a whole lot of money. So what I decided to do was my wife came up with the great idea of making my own loads. So I jumped on the internet, I jumped on YouTube and I was trying to figure out how to make realistic loads. And I came across a channel and his channel name is 187 HO scale steel mill modeling. I looked at a lot of his of his videos and they were really informative and he came up with a lot of great content and was really helpful. So what I, he makes all of his loads by hand and I was watching one video one day while working on a kit and all he was using for his loads were just model pieces of model kits. So I was, I was looking at the sprue and I thought I could probably turn this into a really cool load. So what I did was I grabbed a piece of cardboard, and this used to be an old Walther's box, and I cut it to the size of the gondola. As you can see, these all just pop out. So I cut it to the size of the gondola, and then what I did was I cut all the sprues into different pieces, like you got your straight pieces, like a T-section, you got bent pieces. So I just cut them all the different sizes and different lengths and different shapes. And then what I did was I got my Elmer's glue, because this will dry clear was I applied a large amount of glue to the cardboard and then I just sprinkled on sprue, uh, pieces that I cut and then what I did while they were drying was I just went up and down the sides of both uh, up and down both sides to make sure that when they dry it would fit in the gondola but as you can see here I made another one but what I ran into the issue was I don't know if you'll actually see it or not as you can see, some of the pieces do overhang. So all I'm gonna do is shave down the sides before I paint it. That way it'll fit in the gondola. It does fit into it, but it is a tight squeeze and I don't wanna break the gondola. So that's pretty much how I did all these scrap loads. As you can see, I have the one that I've made so far. And then as you can see, I have two painted and one that I have to paint. It's a really fun, easy way to do it. I'll put the link to uh, 187 HO scale steel mill modeling in the description below. I definitely recommend his channel. It's really informative and it's very helpful. So if anybody's trying to do their own steel mill loads, I definitely recommend his channel. But I just wanted to jump on and show you how I made up these loads. And as you can tell from the gondolas off to the left there, I still have a lot more loads to make. So I wanted to thank all my new subscribers for joining us recently. Thanks for all my subscribers for watching. But until next time, take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.